Welcome to another very exciting five minute auto pairing. Okay. Try and play reasonably solid. The dreaded triangle of solidity. <clears throat> chain here. I'm hoping he's going to play h3 and g4 to weaken his king a bit. I'm surprised he let, allowed that actually. a3 I think might have been interesting to be able to respond with b4. Now there's a fracture. But rook a2 is bishop f6. I might just put pressure on b3 like this though. I don't want to allow bishop f6 denting my pawns. Bishop b4 is also interesting. What does it do if it forces a knight back? Hmm. Can I not just take on... Uh, B3 here. I don't think rookie three is that great. Uh, can I just take on B3? Threaten G4. I mean D4. Well, there's no C4 all the time. Knight C5 takes D3. He's got Bishop F6. Does that matter? Yeah, it probably does. Five. I think that's his idea. I mean, yeah. Getting his pawn back. And this is like Bishop D3. You know, he's getting his pawn back. Or oh, there might be. Hang on, Bishop D3 coming up here. So Bishop D3 is possible here. Knight will be hanging, you can't take that immediately. Um, B5, B6. Looks pleasant enough. <clears throat> Maybe just B4, and then C5. Or oh, rookie frame coming up. Uh, he's got queen b4, I suppose. Um, can I protect c6 just with rook e6? 
Let's see if I can queen b4, I suppose. Can I play queen it says knight c4, queen b5? Sometimes it's quite a powerful move just going back to d8 with the queen. It's central influence from d8. Maybe here. Uh, hmm. I think now is the time for the attack. h5, h4. Try and install a form pawn on h3. <coughs> I wonder. Uh huh. Seems to have a pair of rooks. I don't want a pin though. That's the last thing I want, uh, although that seems to be happening. Um, well, let me do that. It's not going to exchange your queens there. That pawn is too dangerous. So bishop e7 here, 95. As rook d6. Yeah, maybe just rook d6 further. Simplification. Well, he does get in this queen check, but maybe king h7. I don't have to play bishop f8. Trying to avoid the pins. Check. Of the center of it. Uh huh. I think Bishop E four. All right, there's Bishop. I'll, I'll pin that. I'll pin that. Oh, there's also B3, okay, he's going to get pawn back. B3 here. Huh? B2, I mean. I'm just queening. Yeah. Okay, um... Yeah, uh, <clears throat> solid play paid off here. I think he should have played surely. Oh well. Um. Okay, here it looks as though. Okay, he has to play that one if he's gonna play it like this. So here, there's rook c6 tactically. Oh, still blacks. Okay, yeah. 
so I think just as long as I avoid this trap, bang, <laughs> winning on the queen on the rug, then b3 is a problem. So that's a drop. So this is still okay. Should have done this to stop the pawn dropping. Okay, so he misses that counter. It seems okay for black. More than okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I have to play rookie free here. Crikey, have I, have I gone wrong? Hang on. Bishop E4 is mentioned. All right. Have I gone wrong here? Right, what's the matter with this? Is it the pin? It's not the pin, right? Because I can just C2 this. No, it's, it's the problem is apparently I've lost everything. All the advantage gone. Yeah, I'm only a pawn up and I'm dropping a pawn. Okay, it's the knight's on C2. Now here, rookie three. Oh. Check. It's all looking good with that pawn. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks so much.